Hey, what's going on guys? So if you're new to this channel, I release a course on Udemy every few months and when I do, I make a video on it to tell you a little bit about it and give you a promo code. This price right here, $119, that's garbage. Don't pay attention to that. It's a Udemy thing, no one pays that. And there's a promo code for $9.99 in the description. So many of you know that I had a course called React Front to Back and I did it maybe a year and a half ago, something like that. And it went out of date, some of the packages went out of date and then react got updated got a bunch of stuff added to it so I ended up retiring that course and I just created a completely new one called react front to back 2019 and it's a completely new course new projects it's about four hours longer and it's for anyone that either wants to learn react in general or for people that already know some react that want to build projects using uh, more modern features like hooks and context the two together really allow us to mimic a, a redux type flux pattern without actually having to use a third-party state manager in addition to that we will have a redux project so you still will learn redux we have a full stack Mern application with a, a custom express API using uh, JSON web tokens for authentication so it's a pretty extensive course and it's 13.5 hours long and basically uh, we have three different projects I'm going to give you an example um, the first project is a GitHub finder where we basically can search GitHub users. Now, this project is very simple in terms of functionality, but it's going to be, it's, I think it's the longest project just because we really dive in and we start with class-based components. We start with kind of the old school way of doing things, and then we refactor it a couple times to implement hooks and then to implement the context API. So basically it, the functionality is pretty simple. We can just search for a user here and you can see we get a bunch of user items and if I click on one it'll show the github data that we pull from the API the repos and so on um, we can also clear them up and we, we create a little alert here so it's pretty simple in terms of functionality but like I said we're gonna really dive in and learn react from scratch with this project and over in the react tools you can see we create a github state here and an alert state if we look in the provider Let's just pull this up here and we look in the values you can see we have all of our app level states stored here okay including all of our actions and we're not using redux here at all so in alert we have in the value the alert itself and then the set alert method and you can see if i go ahead and show an alert it'll get put in the state and then about four seconds later it gets gets uh, cleared up all right so that's the first project pretty simple but again it's more of a learning type project so the second project is called Contact Keeper, and this is the, the largest project. This is a full stack MERN application. So we're going to start off by building a complete API using Express. We're going to be, you know, using MongoDB, hashing passwords, very similar to my MERN stack course, if you guys took that. But on the front end, we're not using Redux. We're again using the context API along with the use reducer and the use context hook. So you can see in our state here, pull this up again you'll see that we have uh, for instance you know the user once we log in the token if the user is logged in or not and then all the different methods we also have the contact state where we have everything to do with contacts so if I go ahead and log in here let's say jdo at gmail which is a current user and we'll log in you'll see that he has two contacts so contacts are unique so when you create a new account you're not going to have any contacts you're not going to be able to edit other people's contacts so we can simply add a new one we'll say uh, Harry White phone number and if you wanted to add more fields of course you could do that I just didn't want to be too repetitive here so we can choose personal or professional go ahead and add and you can see this little fade effect we're using react transition group for that um, so we can add a contact we can filter them out as well if I put an H here you see H a and then it'll filter out filter out the rest of them um, and then if we want to edit we can just click edit everything will get put over here and let's say we wanted to change uh, his email to Harry one Go ahead and update and you see that gets updated so this is all happening within mongodb and you can see in our auth state in our provider we have the user here stored from the back end and we also have the token and we also have is authenticated true if i go ahead and log out all that stuff changes 
All right, and if I were to register a new user, we'll just say test test at test.com. If I register a new user, obviously they don't have any contacts. Okay, so the last project is an IT logger, and this is something that you would have in an IT department where you know if you if you changed a hard drive or something in a server or a workstation, you could log it. If you have a problem, you can log it, and you can see some are red. That means they need attention. And we're using Redux here, as you can see, we have the Redux Dev Tools open. So we have a log state, and we have technicians. So basically. Um, if I go ahead and add a new system log here, like let's say changed hard drive in server 003, and I can select a technician like Sam Smith. If it needs attention, I could check the box. Uh, we get a little pop up here. And by the way, we're using materialized CSS for the, the design here. We can also add new technicians. So if we go to this icon here, we can add, let's say, uh, Jane. Doe and now Jane Doe's added and we can list all of our technicians and delete them from here. And if I were to click on one of these, you'll see that now Jane Doe is added as a technician. And if we if this needs attention, we can go ahead and update it. This will turn red. Okay, we can also delete. We can search. So if I want to search by name like Sam, you'll see it'll narrow it down to Sam Smith. If I search by maybe server or workstation number like 007, it'll also narrow that down as well. And for the back end, we're actually using a prototype um, REST API called JSON server. And we're going to install that and make it so that we can run React and the JSON server at the same time. Okay, and that's like I said, we'll be using Redux, so it's not like I'm leaving Redux out of the course. So that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, I think it's it's a it's a well-rounded course. And uh, if you're interested, the link is in the description, the promo code for $9.99. And uh, and I appreciate the support. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.